Come on. Come on. If you guys want to just tune in and watch two hefty boys go to war on some sleds and crash suits, you've tuned into the right channel. Inside scoop here. Yeah. All right, so we're going all in because I haven't had any breakfast yet today. But we got basically we're gonna hit a, a fucking double scoop. This is probably gonna be hard to digest. I'm not gonna lie. We got some just basic carbs. We're gonna go strength X2. We're about to go do a four by four. So this is gonna be a a kind of intense workout. I'm not supposed to. My my scores right now or total shit I'm recovering, but I have to push myself through a little bit of pressure. Otherwise I'm gonna have a super hard time uh, racing in Amsterdam. So we got pre-power, strength X2, and a bunch of carbs. And we're gonna blend the shit out of this thing and we're gonna go kick the crap out of this workout, hopefully. All right. What'd you do to Caleb? Did you, cook, did you poison him last night? You're asking me, you literally cooked last night. Oh, did you see what like a weak man, you, you a weak man stomach? Well, you ladies are fine. You actually, yeah. Look I'm, at me though. What did you guys eat? We had crazy chicken. I'll make you some too. I and don't eat chicken. You don't eat chicken. That's right. No, it's fucking disgusting. All right, all right. Yeah. What do you eat? Do you eat beef? Just yeah, just beef. Yeah. Do you like fair. chicken? No. I'm I really like, I like how it smells. I'm good at making steaks. Yeah. There you go. I might kill Caleb though. Medium oh. rare. I brought my shit down here. I just don't know. Fuck, that's heavy. Okay. Yeah, medium rare. All right, I'll start chugging this thing. We'll get dressed and we'll tackle it. Mom, right now. Oh yeah. We do our cool down runs with mom. You're being videotaped right now, mom. You are. Okay. She says hi, everybody. Hello. She's very, she's very excited to be part of this cool down on YouTube. Yeah, I make sure after all of my hardest, hardest workouts to call my parents. How are you feeling, Chief? Good? Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, only three by four. I'm trying to have a really slow build up. You know, I, I think one of the things I learned last year was I set a record in December because I started going super hard in September where I don't want the hard stuff to start until probably December, if not January and kind of carry me through the back end of the season so we're gonna really just spread it out change up the routine a little bit find ways to keep the body whoa look at this fucker big old dead buzzard must have got hit by a car uh, definitely gonna work the routine a little bit differently so that i can make sure that i'm sharp when i need to be and this road right here is gonna be a big part of it this season. We're gonna have a lot of top level runners with me. And we're gonna have a big build up with some dangerous guys in SoCal. I'm bringing back the Southern California Speed Demon Club. So the Speed Demons are back. We're gonna fucking tear it the fuck up, baby. We got the whole support of Los Angeles, Orange County, San Diego. If you're in the area and you like to run fucking hard miles, hit me up. This is where we do the work. We're going to get golds all season. So if you want to be part of that tribe, you know where to go. Hunt the sheriff Instagram. I'm looking for your DMs, baby. See you soon. Ah. Fucker. Oh. Oh. Jeez, dude. Some of these socks are fucking tough. Are they compressions? Yeah, I don't know what the hell their deal is. It's too much. Do they really even fucking do anything? Some of them do. I don't I think these ones are not, they're just like, you know, sports socks, but it's a little too tight. Just wear regular socks. Yeah, man. But I get it. Like, I mean, especially out here in the heat, 
when you start to get sweat and all that kind of stuff, you get blisters with those big cotton socks. Like you got those tube socks on. Yeah. Those are six tube socks, but for performance, you get shredded, dude. You get shredded. I just right. like my feet to feel pretty snug. Snuggy feet? Yeah. I tend to, it's really weird, dude. Like my feet have grown a size this summer. I don't know what the heck happened, but. Oh, I starved myself, my feet shrank. Yeah. Now they're bigger. A lot of you pumping the beef. Ah. Right. Ah. Wow. That's hard. You try, you try. I bet you missed Nate. Nate, right? I do. I do miss Nate, but I don't think I can train with Nate like that anymore. Like Recky or what? Oh yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, ha. Oh. Power, power, power. Five. There we go. I'm gonna do five of these things. Super explosive. How fast do I look? It's it pretty crazy. Pretty easy, yeah. Yep. What's no the resistance seen. on that band? It says right here 50 to 120 pounds, so probably when I'm doing it, maybe 130. Let's go, dude. All right, guys, we're here at the cabin where manly shit goes down. Tito's in the house. We got Caleb over here. Caleb's talking all this shit because I'm over here just kind of working on some basic strength, and I was saying, you know, you're really a man if you can pick up Goliath. Who is Goliath? A 250-pound stone who lives in my backyard. This is about as how much Caleb weighs, and I said, if I can pick that up, basically means I can manhandle Caleb at any time. So I don't think he can get it up. All right. Come on, Goliath. Yeah, spank that baby. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, so sorry. Oh, no. There ain't nothing going on right now. See? Holy shit. <laughs> See if you can... I, 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 some people have cheated it. Look at that. There's a hole in the ground. Wow. Is there a hole in the driveway? Fuck. All right, guys, let's just prove that I'm stronger than Caleb once for all. Record, Whoa. I'm doing it a negative. Whoa, well, you can do it any time you want, deficit. guys. Hunter McIntyre, a.k.a. Uncle Who, the beast, is going to get it up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to go any higher. But, you know, no big deal, dude. Right, let me try that again. Now that I'm out of the fucking hole. Whatever, dude. Uncle Who, who's a beast. Redemption. Caleb, remember, you're not going to get a date to prom if you don't get this up. <laughs> Nobody loves you. How the fuck do you pick it up? What's the Grab best? Under that lip. Helps. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> fuck off. <laughs> so you press his penis into it a little bit. I'm not impressed. What you're saying is my penis is bigger. No. Totally. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. That's why we have to put it back in the hole now. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Got a ton of flies around. No big deal. Pull G. That went up pretty easy. What's yeah. digging over here? What? Huh? It's digging up over here. Dirty gophers. Fucking gophers. Whoa. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. You were right under 510. You were above five, but under 510. Somewhere in that range. Okay, you ready? Sure you gotta nail this timer. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Time! It didn't click when I first started. Like it, Man. it clicked and then it cut off. Like, Nobody cares about your it, fat it, fingers. It, it, what it, happened? It, it, it did that. Like I was like, what the fuck? I went like that and it stopped. I was like, what the fuck? Hold my time. Probably right, right under five. You fucked me, dude. Now I gotta do it over again. Yeah, you do. Caleb. I suck. I suck. Hello, dude. I fucking suck. Tito, you're in charge of the timer now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Caleb has struggled to use the timer, so now he's been completely punished just to GoPro duty. All you have to do is just hold it. Am I doing the timer or no? No, you're not allowed to do the timer. All right, Tito, you got the timer. There's a lot of pressure on the other timer, okay? The timer is a lot of pressure. 
lot of pressure. This. I hope you fuck it up, just so uh, it's not just me too. Okay, let's see. You gotta get it in. You gotta get it in. Let's go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. Yes, yes. At the fucking PR. Fuck you, Caleb. <laughs> I'm a beast. All right, guys. It's early in the morning in the McIntyre house. You can see in the background. Here comes the sun. We are gonna be tackling some pretty hard efforts. Basically, gonna be doing some speed. And this afternoon, we're gonna do some hard sled work. Um, definitely getting ready. Trying to get a lot of fluids in our systems. Caleb got, um, we're gonna say altitude sickness. I don't think you got food poisoning. So we stole all the hydro. We literally had a brand new hydro container and within three days it was gone. So we're out of that. I'm finally back in like the part of my training where I can start to go hard again. So this is good. I'm gonna try to make sure that today's session is hard, not detrimental. So I'm going to make sure that I get just up there, stay up there, stay with it, don't fall apart. Like when I was doing 200s this time last year, I was, I was getting there and I was running some 25s and some 27s, but that would break me. That would break me hard. So I'm going to start a bit slower, but it's going to be pretty fucking sweet. I'm going to hold it a little bit harder. Dude, my mobility sucks so bad, I can't even put these fucking socks on. <laughs> I have to start stretching. Oh, come on. Also, these socks are just fucking hard to put on. Holy shit. You think so? I don't know, you have a bunch of different sizes in that, that garage. Maybe that's the issue. Dang it. All right, we're down here by Lake Silverwood. There's the devil's butt crack, which I love. Which I love, I'm coming back for it soon. I'm probably gonna have a November attempt on the crack. You know me, dude, I love some crack. Uh, but right now we're just gonna do our 200s. This is the road that goes to the fire department down here. So there's probably gonna be a lot of handsome men with mustaches trying to tempt me to join the fire department, but I'm not gonna. I gotta do much, a bunch of fucking skier and wall balls still. So it's gonna be pretty solid. I love the section. You start on a little bit of an uphill, a little microscopic uphill. We're gonna do some 200s, some rest, and then we're gonna do some more 200s, and then we're gonna go home. All together, I think we're in for a good tenor. I don't know how this is gonna pan out. Probably not the smartest thing I've done, but we're gonna do this 200, backwood 200 with the GoPro on. Tell me when. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Oh. Oh. All right, big rest. Ow. Okay. Not too bad, but basically, first real speed. You're striding out a lot. You know, we're holding low four to just breaking four on these, so it's a lot for cold, dead legs. I haven't done much speed work in a while, and. Even though it's not the biggest difference, we're at 3,000 feet right now. So I've always noticed it's a little bit harder to do work here. It's also so, so fucking dry. Like I woke up. No, <laughs> I thought there'd be blood in there. I have blood usually in my nose when I wake up in the morning because it's so dry. Also, by the way, if you notice there's a lot of flies on us, yesterday, uh, that was pretty gross, I spit. I thought it'd be smart, just, me being my clever self, I peed on my hands and rubbed it on myself because we had no bug repellent. It didn't work at all. So just to save you guys the trouble in case you were thinking that was gonna help, it doesn't. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. 
faster. That was a 25. Hooey. Got the fart fires coming. All right, workout one done. Whole fire department's coming down the hill. You can hear them shouting. They're excited to see us. Caleb, you should just tuck in with your mustache. They wouldn't even know that you're not a firefighter. They wouldn't know a thing. Yeah. I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's right. Uh, cool down mile, and we got a big workout tonight. Big, big dog. I might cool down with these boys. See you guys in a bit. What's up? It's so hot in here. So we're gonna do something pretty crazy. We are going to basically, I should probably just fill this thing all the way up. We are basically gonna do sled training in the hot, hot sun outside. And then we got the sauna fired up, so we're gonna do an extra heat training. Why is the top of my refrigerator so warm? Not good. And we're just gonna beat the shit out of ourselves. And it's gonna pay off later, trust me. And this gun was delicious. So, if you guys wanna just tune in and watch two hefty boys go to war on some sleds and crest huge, you've tuned into the right channel. All right, this is the attempt to push one. Not much of a warm up. You wanna take some plates off to warm up? Too light, too light, too light. Too light, too light. This is a warm up, remember. All right, fine. <laughs> A little, a little pebble got the hunter. Woo. Woo. You went really far. Caleb's not strong enough. He's a big poopy head. That's because you went down and I'm going up, bitch. You're a big poopy head, dude. <laughs> Loser. Loser. Let me see if I can at least push. <laughs> I'll have to switch shoes. I don't have no traction on the bottom of these things. Not traction, you just got pussy legs. Move it a little bit, shake it side to side. Pick it up. Come on, come on. I didn't know I was hosting a pussy. It's, it's literally not moving. <laughs> come on, put the weight down a little bit differently. If I can push it again, dude, you're officially a pussy. I'm about to switch my I'd shoes trade out. Places, places. I'm about to switch my shoes out. They're just sliding. Because you're a pussy. Done being a pussy. I'm gonna switch my shoes. No, come on, go. There you go. <laughs> He's just being soft. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Quit being soft, I mean now, boy. Harder now, boy. Fix your damn legs now, boy. Five, four, three, two, rest. Shit. Oh, how was it? Got yeah, steep. Nice. Let's go. Pull, 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 pull. Pull it, pull it. Car. Time. Okay. How was that? It's all right. Come on. Let's go. Being a fucking pussy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Time. Holy shit. Good. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. 
go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Come on, come on. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, oh. one. Oh, what's up, peeps? Yeah, there's the dune bike you're gonna be working on this weekend. We're gonna polish the hog off. Check this out. So today, we're gonna work it really hard. We got doubles coming up in Amsterdam. So I'm just gonna push my system to the point where I can throw up. So three rounds of five sets. Five reps, sorry. So three rounds, five reps, 35 seconds on the ski erg with two minutes rest between. The goal here is going to be one, two, five, two, one, 30 to maybe 32. And it's ski, just so you guys get this right. But it's gonna be intense, um, a lot of rest in between. It's just about kind of like recruiting muscle, getting intense. I'm do a couple pickups real quick to set myself up. But um, I've been really working on just like getting my flow of intensity and recovery in. Feeling pretty good, brought the tool set out. Might do a little twisty screwies. Um, already two scoops of hydro in today and I loaded the fuck out of pre-power before this thing. I'm now up above six grams a day to nine grams a day. Um, so that's three scoops of pre-power. And that's just because the amount of lactic acid that we're gonna be pumping up during doubles is crazy. I think a lot of people don't understand that's like a major part of this sport, especially in doubles, is the ability just to handle lactic acid. So if you guys are sitting there and you're not taking pre-power, you're an idiot. You're a big doo-doo head, cause fuck, I lost my remote. It just helps a lot. Go look it up. You guys can look up anything. I mean, another thing that you guys can look up is sodium bicarbonate. That's another opportunity you can do this. We don't sell it, cause the likelihood that you'll shit your pants is astoundingly high or just gut problems. So I would risk it if I were you, and then comment below. Let me know if you did poop, cause I'm interested. I always like to hear a good poop story. Okay, stopwatch. Come on, you fuck. And we're in business. Okay, catch you guys in a second. Only 145, it's not bad. Uh, we'll go at nine, 25 for the fourth one. Ooh, still fatigued from those sleds. I feel it, this is not hard, but it hurts. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh. No bigs. Oh. These are pretty good. Uh, crazy thing is just kind of like the efficiency, the muscular efficiency of just like keeping my form, I'm like slipping all over the place. I have the horsepower, but I'm so not used to going high horsepower on this machine for intervals. I can feel myself losing it. And it's like the importance of, of having that, like you can't race without it. Obviously I've been just fucking pounding the weights, biking a lot, but this is, makes a difference. Um, I'm about to go off again soon. Another reason, I tell you guys, wear gloves. Like if you're really training hard, there's no ego. How these guys are just being gym bros, being like, you're a fucking pussy. 
They also hold on to a dumbbell for like 30 seconds at a time, over five sets and maybe like five movements. They're not rampaging in the gym for hard intervals like we are and then going doing hard races. So fuck that gym culture. Those guys are pussies. They can't even walk from the door to the toilet without breaking a sweat. And all it really counts is like anything that's gonna get in the way of you having higher performances, you gotta ditch. So don't be soft, get yourself some gloves. Red pull workout. That's some work, dude. Been putting some fucking serious work on this thing. My thighs are ripped after those 200s, but energy's there. Soreness is there too. And I fucked, I messed up this GoPro pretty bad. My mom wants me to stop cussing, so I gotta stop, guys, sorry. What's up, guys? So I'm here with Master Billy, and we're bringing Scooby back to life. Now, Master Billy is one of the greatest samurais in the mountains of Malibu. There's regular Malibu people, and there's Malabama people, and we're Malabama folk. So, you guys remember Scooby. There's the flames. It's looking sick. What kind of late engine we got in here? It's an SRT8. Woo! 5.7 or 6.4? 6.4. Four. 6.4, baby. All right. Big dog. All right, what's positive? Let's see this old thing. This is red. That's positive. Yeah, we got positive. And this thing comes off. I think this is part of the starter. See that little cord that comes off? Maybe. Or maybe, it, I don't know. We'll see. All right, how long are we gonna let this thing jump for? <sighs> this is gonna be sick, dude. We're gonna take this thing, we're gonna fix it, and we're gonna drip the shit out of it. Babes are gonna go crazy. See how much more juice she's got now? So, hmm. put a little bit of special sauce, maybe in the carburetor. Up top, you gonna screw this Whoa. thing? But, uh, Dirty is that all just some kind of air intake? This is your air and fuel intake. It's all one big thing. This whole car runs on the carburetor. This is fuel. That'd be your fuel pump. Which may or may not be working, so I'd like to just dump gasoline in here. Okay. And it should be getting sparked through here to your distributor. Which you probably shouldn't be touching because it can shock you pretty good. Okay. I'm no stranger to it, so I just like to feel it up. Take a little, little zinger? Yeah, yeah. Tickle the taint? It's working, right? Feel the juice? Uh, so, unfortunately, because it's so, like, sandproof, um, you know it's going to take me a second to get these stupid bolts out. Yeah. Fuck ass! 